murder of Hrant Dink, one of Turkey's best-known journalists who spoke out against the mass killing of Armenians a century ago, has been condemned in Turkey itself and around the world. President Chirac of France called it an abominable act, depriving Turkey, he said, of one of its most courageous voices. Hrant Dink was shot in broad daylight in Istanbul. Sarah Rainsford is there. They took to the streets in their thousands. Just hours after Hrant Dink was killed, this crowd marched through Istanbul in his memory. Some carried photographs of the journalist and flowers and candles to lay at the spot where he died. But the mood here was angry more than mournful. This crowd shouted its solidarity with Hrant Dink and its fury at what's happened to him. Hrant Dink was shot in the head here in broad daylight, just meters from his office. Friends and colleagues gathered in shock as police cordoned off the spot. He was a Turkish-Armenian journalist who was thrust into the spotlight when a nationalist group accused him of insulting Turkishness in an article about the fate of the Ottoman Armenians. To nationalists, he was a traitor. To others, a champion of free speech. Turkish officials were quick to condemn the murder of Hrant Dink as a shameful act. The strongest words came from the Prime Minister. Unfortunately, dark hands have chosen Hrant Dink this time to achieve their felonious purposes. It's very meaningful that this murder happened when especially in some countries where the Armenian genocide is at the top of the agenda. The last column Hrant Dink wrote in his newspaper spoke of death threats he'd been receiving from nationalists. He called it psychological torture. Police have now detained three suspects, but Hrant Dink's friends and supporters are still reeling at the loss of a man who believed in the right to speak out and in the need for his country to confront the difficult and sensitive chapters of its past. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Istanbul.